ஹாய் காம்ரேட்ஸ் யுவர்ஸ் கேவிஎஸ் இந்த லாஸ்ட் டூ எபிசோட்ஸ் வி ஹேவ் டிஸ்கஸ் அபவுட் த பிஓ கைட் பார்ட் ஒன் அண்ட் இன் விச் வி ஹேவ் கவர்டு கிளாஸ் அப் டு கிளாஸ் ஃபோர்டீன் பிகாஸ் த சப்ஜெக்ட் இஸ் ஏ வாஸ்ட் ஒன் அண்ட் இட் வில் டேக் அனதர் டென் ஆர் டுவெல் ஸ்லைட்ஸ் அண்ட் த எக்ஸாமினேஷன் இஸ் ஆஃபிங் and it is not possible to cover up all the issues immediately before the examination so that i have planned instead of giving all the classes in detail let us discuss in short about the the remaining items because so far the organization is concerned we have discussed a lot in the episode 1 and there are about the franking machine and others we have discussed in the second part 2 so the rest of the work let us discuss here in short so that it will be useful for the examination purpose shall i go through now the post offices which are kept to open for specially extended hours are called as a night post office night post offices are the post offices functioning after the office hours of the post offices that is called a night post office that is for the ex- especially extended hours it is not the regular working hours regular working hours have been already fixed uh, as per the manuals and these are all specially extended hours that is called as a night post office the working hours of the night post office are generally fixed by the head of the circle the head of the circle is the competent for fixing the working hours of the night post office the working hours of the post office can also be extended beyond 8:30 pm and also keep them open on sundays only by the director general of post offices with the prior approval of the directorate only the working hours of the night post offices can be extended and also they can be kept to open on sundays and other holidays the npos the night post offices that will function on sundays and holidays in only one shift that is between 10 am to 5 pm there should be only one shift and the night post offices they will not do the work on sundays and national holidays particularly the delivery functions and payments of money orders savings bank saving certificate one and cash remittances to other post offices no other work can be done in the night post offices except the counter the enquiry related to postal business and sale of stamps and stationery is allowed at the post office during the entire working hours of the post office all enquiry related to postal business that is allowed in the post office till the close of the day so even at the last minute if any people come and enquire about some service it is to be replied and the franked article that should be tendered only across the counter that too with the window delivery ticket it cannot be posted in letter box if it is posted in the letter box it will be treated as unpaid article the value of the franked article tendered across the counter shall tally with the figures furnished in the register of postings article should be tallied every day and at the time of last dispatch of the franked article that should accompany with the form duly filled up signed and dated that is called daily docket the daily docket is an important topic that will definitely come for the examination purpose that the daily docket means that is the form that should be duly filled up at the last dispatch of the franked articles the limit of the franking amount on a franked amount of a franked article it will be allowed up to any amount there is no limitation for the franking amount it can be allowed to any amount if the franked article posted in the letter box it will be treated as unpaid article 
the franked articles bearing the impression of the previous date should not be accepted it should be posted on the same day suppose one day if it could not be posted on the same day and it is presented on the next day the date of the next day should also bear in the article repairs to the franking machine will be carried out only by the authorized suppliers only at the premises of the post services now it has been changed because of the newly introduction of the franking machine the old rulings have been having a major change in case of repair of franking machine outside the license die shall be removed from the machine the post office is authorized to remove the license die the post office where the daily docket register is maintained and similarly while posting the franked article the cut out label with the franked imp- impressions that can be used but shall not be used in an insured letter articles if a sender requests to recall the article insured he should present the copy of the original receipt granted by the post office suppose if the sender is requesting for return of the article before it is before it was delivered if it is delivered there is no question of recalling article if it is not delivered he can ask for recalling of article at the time he should present the original receipt granted by the post office if your postal article is redirected by air following the request necessary surcharge shall be collected from the addressing suppose and the and the article is also very much essential to be returned back in such cases the for if air mail fee is there that surcharge can also be collected from the addressee and it can be bring back through air also if the addressee or his agent fails to take delivery of parcel within 7 days from the date of services of notice it will be treated as unclaimed and disposed of if three parcels received for delivery to a person having aggregate of more than 10 kg but individual weight is less than 10 kg the article shall be sent out for delivery through postman one parcel it should not exceed 10 kg but if one person is receiving three parcels and having 7 kg 8 kg something all the parcels should be sent out for delivery through postman but if it exceed 10 kg if an individual parcel exceed 10 kg it should not be sent out through the postman and it should be delivered only at the window a parcel having more than 10 kg shall be delivered at the premises on payment of additional sum of rupees 5 by the sender in the shape of the postage stamp if the sender desire that the parcel should be delivered at the premises of the addressee he can pay rupees 5 in the shape of postage stamp and thereafter that parcel can be delivered at the premises of the addressee insured article for more than the value of rupees 500 shall be delivered only at the post office window if the insured amount exceed rupees 500 it should be delivered only at the post office counter itself post office window itself before delivery of an insured article what are all the important items that the delivery staff should take care he should obtain the signature in ink in the receipt and acknowledgement and thereafter he should deliver the insured article to the addressee what is the period for preferring complaints about the non payment of money orders or non receipt of money orders for money orders the complaint should be preferred within 12 months in respect of vp articles complaint should be preferred within 3 months the financial limit for payment of compensation for the loss of contents or any damage in postal article 
He is vested with the superend of post office or first class postmaster to the extent of rupees 100 maximum. If the payee of the money order refuses to take payment, he should be returned to the remitter on the same day. The money order need not be kept in the post office and it can be returned to the sender on the very same day. A VP article, it can also be returned to the sender in case if it is not claimed within 7 days from the date of intimation. Up to 7 days, it should be kept under deposit in the post offices. If the address is not turned out, thereafter it should be returned as unclaimed. The complaint and suggestion book that should be kept with the postmaster. All the post offices including the branch post offices and it should be made available to the members of public even without asking for it. A letter was delivered by a third person to whom the letter was addressed without the knowledge of the post offices. Whether action can be taken? No. No action can be taken under the Post Office Act since it is outside the privilege of the PO monopoly. This is as per rule class 83 of the PO Guide Part 1. India Post is exempted by law from all the responsibilities in case of any postal articles in the course of transmission class 84. One parcel around the weight of 4.15 kg was brought to the post office. The counter payee should compulsorily register the parcel. Why? If the weight is exceeded 4 kg, registration is compulsory and it should be registered because it exceeds 4 kg. This is as per class 171. One BP article having paid with the full postage found in the letter box. What should be done? It should be handed over to the VP counter PA for booking the article. This is as per class 171. The registration PA he should uh, immediately book the article and paste the receipt in the error book. Postman brought a speed post article and handed over to the mail PA that the registration is not compulsory. Is it correct? No. The mail PA, after receiving the speed post article, he should hand over the same to the speed post counter PA for booking the article as per class 171. The facility of prepayment of postage charges in cash is not available for the insured article. This is as per class 12. Because for insured articles, there is no provision of prepayment of postage charges and it should be paid fully. The condition of posting of registered newspaper is that it should be published at the interval of not more than 31 days as per class 140. The interval between release of one newspaper and another newspaper, the maximum permissible period is 31 days as per class 140. The business reply services is a facility under which a person can obtain a reply from his client without making him to pay the postage. Such replies can be obtained through the business reply card. Class number 116. This is an important item. Business reply service, business reply card. The facility is available to a person. He can obtain the reply from his client without making any postage. The compensation for the last of register article he is restricted to a maximum of rupees 100 as per class 162 of the PO guide. The maximum compensation for a register article, loss of register article, is rupees 100 only. The BP articles can be detained at the post office 
exceeding 7 days from the date of receipt by paying the demurrage charges after the intimation period in the shape of postage stamps generally the bp articles can be kept for 7 days after the intimation even after that also in the shape of postage stamp if the demurrage charge is paid the article can be retained in the post office one article is presented for the certificate of posting the counter pay is refusing is it correct yes the service of certificate of posting is already withdrawn and such facilities is not in existence as and date if one postman paid a money order to the wrong pay what he can do he know that the amount has been paid to a wrong pay what he can do he should recover the amount from the person and thereafter he should credit under the ucr and after the formality only the amount should be paid to the correct pay payment should not be made directly to the correct person whether identification card can be issued to the illiterate persons no identification cards can be issued only to the literate persons as per class 63 once a notice arrival about a postal article is given to the addressee it need not be redirected to elsewhere once the notice was given even after that the addressee is saying you should redirect to this address or something else it need not be redirected since the intimation was already served this is as per class 67 if the sender of an article requested the postmaster to redirect the article from the transit office whether it can be redirected no it cannot be redirected it can be redirected only at the office of delivery this is as per class 67 of the po guide the insured articles having insured for more than rupees 500 it will be delivered only at the post office window if on open delivery of a damaged insured article is demanded it should be opened only in the presence of the postmaster that is as per class 42 it should be opened only in the presence of postmaster if the article is in damaged condition and the address he wants a open delivery in case of open delivery of a damaged insured article the inventory should be prepared in duplicate and one copy should be sent to the sender money orders register letters insured and bp articles address to be paid or delivered to a particular person of a firm for which the post office is registered should be paid or delivered only through the postman even though they are having a post box or post bag whether it is a money order register letter insured or vp article that should be sent to only through the postman and it should be either delivered or paid only by him only this is as per class 56 and such article cannot be directly posted in the post box or post bag if the lock and key are not surrendered by the renter of the post box after the expiry of the rental period and not renewed within 15 days the deposit will be forfeited as per class 56 the lock and key should be surrendered by the renter immediately after the rental period or within 15 days from the date of renewal otherwise the deposit will be forfeited no application for the renewal of the post box is entertained unless it reaches the postmaster before the expiry of the period for which the rent has been paid in advance the application should reach the postmaster before the expiry of the period this is very much required this is as per class 56 a letter or article 
posted without required postage is charged on delivery with double the postage that is called unpaid article unpaid article will be double the postage rates and there are some exemptions also that will be discussed later in a separate chart topic what is the minimum of the unpaid the minimum of the unpaid article is fixed as rupee 1 as per class 101 the client who receives the business reply envelope need not pay the postage for reply the usual postage plus rupee 1 as handling charge per article will be recovered from the sender at the time of delivery the client he need not pay any postage apart from the postage plus rupee 1 for the handling charges per article will be recovered from the sender who is having the business reply permit at the time of delivery this is as per class 116 the permit of business reply service will remain in force till 31st march of the financial year this is as per class 11h so 31st march is the last date and that will remain in force till that date blind literature packets are exempted from payment of postage this is as per class 136 blind literature packets are transmitted by surface route only it will be transmitted by air if air mail surcharge as if for packet is paid generally blind literature packet are free or free of postage charges it will be transmitted you should have only the braille format only and it will be transmitted only by the surface only it will not be transmitted by air but if one is paying the surcharge air mail surcharge then it will be sent as a packet and it will be transmitted by air also this is as per class 136 the blind literature packet should not contain any communication written in writing nothing no communication should be written in the blind literature packet as per class 137 the blind literature packet should not have the weight of more than 7 kg this is one of the important point it should not have more than 7 kg as per class 137 the authority for the registration of newspaper and the grant of license will be the divisional heads that is the senior superintendent of post office or superintendent of post office as per class 140 the copy of or copies of newspaper posted under the license of registration of newspaper should be posted without a wrapper or with a wrapper open at the ends as per class 140 the registration details should not be printed on the wrapper when you are posting a registered newspaper the registration details should not be posted in the wrapper it should be posted only in the newspaper only it should not be printed in the wrapper this is as per rule 140 any postal articles found to contain prohibited or suspected articles will be marked as doubtful and forwarded this is as per class 212 if you are having any suspicion about the content of the article which you presume that it is a prohibited you should mention as doubtful and thereafter it should be forwarded any indecent or obscene printing painting photograph or other indecent or obscene article should not be sent by post this is as per rule 209 any living creature or other thing which is either noxious or likely to injure other postal articles should not be sent by post this is as per class 209 lottery tickets or circulars relating to lotteries cannot be sent by post 
this is also 209 these are all the prohibited articles all up skin printing painting photograph are uh, prohibited noxious or likely to injure is other postal articles which all the creatures should not be sent by post lottery tickets and circular relating to lottery certificate that cannot be sent by post gold coin or bullion or both cannot be sent by normal post they can be sent only through insured post that too for a maximum amount of 1 lakh only you cannot send more than 1 lakh value through the insurer also this is as per class 209 the franking machine meter shall be reset only at the post office where the license is issued this is as per the uh, class 58 if the parcel is suspected to contain any written communication other than the permitted it will be forwarded to the destination marked as for open delivery this is as per class 145 if the parcel having any suspicion about the written communication suppose some 100 or 200 uh, invitations or uh, duty uh, address or uh, everything and packed in one parcel and forwarded to the destination if there is a suspicion it can be uh, marked it is for open delivery so that every all the articles can be taxed at the office of delivery a bp article marked as post to restaurant day if kept in deposit for 7 days bp article can also be kept in the post office under deposit for 7 days as per class 64 in case of deficiency in fees or postage of a registered article twice the fee for registration will be realized as per class 171 even the registration charge also that should be realized by twice the rates if the addressee fails to pay the charges in full in case of deficiency in the fees or postage on an unregistered parcel the parcel should be returned to the sender for recovery as per class 145 the amount specified for remittance to the sender of an bp article that should not exceed rupees 5000 5000 is the maximum amount for the money order this is as per class 186 of the po guide an application for recall of an article inland after posting or alteration of address of a postal article can be done by paying a fee of rupees 6 in the shape of postage stamps as per class 34 application for recall of an insured article shall be made with the original receipt granted by the post office class 34 if an indian post ladder presented for payment is required to be made through savings bank it should be crossed in ink class 248 if the remitter of the money order desires to stop the money order which has not been paid he should apply in writing at the po where it was issued only at the po where it was booked i can go and make an uh, demand to stop the money order this is as per class 228 if the remitter of the money order desires that the amount of money order booked by him has to be paid by some other person other than the payee named in the money order form this can be entitled on payment of second commission equal to the first suppose one money order was booked the sender of the money order he wants to change the payee name he don't want that the amount should be paid to the particular person he want to change he want to alter the payee name and it, uh, he wants to pay the amount to some other person in such cases it is allowed and the, what is the commission earlier uh, collected from him the equal of the commission 
that should also be taken as a second commission and the money order can be delivered to the the altered person as per his choice this is as per class 227 any person residing within the regular beat of the postman can have all the letters received to his address delivered to him regularly at the window of the post office with free of charge this is class 57 As per class 57, any person who can go to the post office and he can take delivery of all the letters at the window of the post offices without paying any extra charges. An addressee desires to receive all the full paid, fully paid unregistered article at the post office in a locked bag. He is called as a holder of window delivery tickets. what is the fee for the business reply service the fee for the business reply service during the first quarter that is april to june 30 be charged as rupees 200 for the full year that is as per class 116 for one year the charge will be rupees 200 the permit of the business reply service will remain in force up to 31st march of the financial year thereafter automatically it expires as per class 118 the undelivered packets and registered newspapers will be returned to the sender after 7 days all the undelivered packets of the newspaper registered newspaper that can be kept in the post office only for 7 days after 7 days you should be written to the sender of the registered newspaper the refused unregistered articles on which the sender's address are found are written to the office of posting the money orders received for payment are entered in the mo3 this is as per the old rules now changes have been because of the emo some changes have taken place this was the earlier question actually all the items were compiled while seeing the previous question papers and the crux of the things have been compiled in this format this was the earlier question and it need not be much worried the bo bag should contain the bo daily account when it is called as a bo bag it should contain the bo daily account In the case of death of the payee the VP money order will be paid to the claimant after executing the indemnity bond the minimum dimension of unfolded inland letter card is 28.2 cm into 18.2 cm maximum weight of a registered parcel is 20 kg if booked and addressed to a departmental office if the delivery is a departmental office it should be 20 kg mobile post offices remains closed on sundays as well as the post office holidays mobile post offices do not book any insured and vp articles branch post offices will keep open for 5 hours maximum minimum is 4 hours There is no clearance of letter boxes on Sundays and holidays. During specified hours of Sundays and PO holidays, all RMS services generally book the register articles on payment of usual fee plus late fee. Franking machine licenses is entitled to a commission of 3% on the value of francs used. Parcels or VPP with less than 10 kg will be issued only once for delivery. Whether it is parcel or VPP with less than 10 kg, it will be issued only once through the postman for delivery and thereafter it has to be taken delivery only at the window. Parcels above 10 kg shall be delivered only at the window of the post office. Machine franked articles should not be posted in the letter boxes the sender of a postal article posted in india may withdraw or have its address altered so long as the article has not been delivered to the addressee the post office reserves the right to withdraw the post box 
without notice or without any reasons being assigned the identity cards are issued by all the head post offices and sub post offices a duplicate identity card will be issued on payment of a fresh fee and after giving a written declaration complaints relating to speed post should be preferred within one month from the date of booking the book packet should not contain any paper money postage or other stamps pundis checks currency notes and all orders of payment of money except a stamped envelope postcard or wrapper this is in between class 120 to 126 the book packets containing printed books should not contain any publication published at regular intervals class 128 blind literature packets are exempted from payment of the following fees besides being exempt from the payment of postage registration fee p for acknowledgement and p for the attested copy of the receipt as per class 136 and 137 nothing should be enclosed in or with any newspaper posted other than an extra or supplement under the registered newspapers the application of registered newspaper should be accompanied by a list showing the names and addresses of at least 50 bona fide subscribers and a certificate from the district presidency or sub divisional magistrate the articles containing gold coin or bullion or both currency notes bank notes should be insured for the actual value of the contents if it is posted in the post office as per class 184 Indian postal orders may be repaid to the purchaser even after 24 months but not later than 36 months on payment of second commission at the prescribed rate if the foreign article are addressed to postal restaurant the warehousing charges is levied from the 8th day following the date of arrival of the article in the office of delivery this is PO guide part 2 class number 18 a foreign parcel may be insured for a value not exceeding the limit of insurance for the country concerned and not exceeding the actual value of contents the insurance value should not exceed the value declared in the customs declaration or other export documents this is also as per class 18 of po guide part 2 in no case foreign insured letter can be insured for more than rupees 1 lakh which is the limit prescribed in india where the currency notes are dispatched by insured post the value shall not exceed rupees 20000 the refund for the error on franking impression can be claimed by the institution within one month and 5% of less reduction that is called the error postage 5% will be deducted and balance will be refunded franking meter reset will be made by the pri and above status the fee for availing the post box facility is rupees 150 per year and rupees 50 per quarterly fee for both post box and post bag combined facility rupees 250 per year and rupees 80 quarterly the cost of the identity card is rupees 9 and the validity of the id card is 3 years the cost of the window delivery ticket it is free of cost no charges are fixed post restaurant article that is care of postmaster articles can be detained in the post office for one month post restaurant instructions that is care of postmaster instruction is valid for 3 months the redirection fee of parcels within the delivery area or original address 
and sender in case of unclaimed parcel is at free of cost complaint and suggestion book are being maintained in all the post offices including the bos the size of the identity card will be 88 mm into 63 mm the circle complaint officer is vigilant officer attached at the headquarters of the circle office the delivery of articles of a deceased person may be affected to any near relative if it does not contain any valuable property and also in case of no counter claim or likelihood of dispute the size limit of the letter is minimum 11 into 7 cm maximum 60 into 90 cm in roll form 10 into 17 cm and maximum 88 into 100 cm the size of the inland letter card if it is folded minimum 15.2 into 9 cm maximum 21 cm into 10 cm if it is in unfolded minimum 28.2 into 18.2 cm and maximum 30 cm into 21 cm postcard of private manufacturer size limit is maximum 15 cm into 10.5 cm minimum 10 into 7 cm size of the book packet roll and other roll is for the book packet roll minimum 10 into 17 cm maximum 80 into 100 cm other rolls minimum 10 into 7 cm maximum 60 into 30 into 30 cm the weight limit of a book packet is 5 kg the weight limit of the book packet containing the periodicals is also 5 kg the weight limit of the book pattern and spam bill packet is 2 kg the weight limit of the blind literature packet is 7 kg security fee for avoiding registered newspaper facility under the wpp without payment of postage is at least one month postage late fee for renewal of registered newspaper is rupees 50 renewal charge of registered newspaper is free of cost unregistered parcels can be sent up to 4 kg exceeding 4 kg registration is compulsory parcels can be booked at the sub post offices up to 20 kg at the same time parcel can be booked at the branch post offices up to 10 kg maximum size limit of the parcel is length 1 meter and length and width 1.8 meter registration is compulsory in cases of any parcel excluding 4 kg any insured and any bp article first class mails and money orders can be transmitted by air without any additional charge insurance is compulsory when the article contains coin currency and jewelry demerit charge for the vp letter or parcel is rupees rupees 2 and rupees 3 respectively demerit charge on vp article He is collected from the addressee after 7 days alteration of payee's name of money order can be done by paying the second commission as fees money order neither paid to the payee nor remitter He is called as a void money order money order becomes void after the last date of the following month The currency period of Indian postal order is 2 years. The currency period of an IPO can be extended to 3 years from 2 years on payment of second commission. 
handling charges of envelope for business reply cards in addition to postage per article is rupees 1 bulk pack should be closed so as to enable the post office to inspect the contents each bag should weigh not less than 5 kg and not more than 30 kg content and the bag window delivery ticket is the identification of the franking machine license is representative any postal article can be redirected only by the office of designation only that is called the office of delivery only registered newspapers are accepted without payment of late fee on all days including sundays and post office holidays at night post offices articles addressed to the deceased persons can be delivered at the description of the pm a book packet posted in the excess of the prescribed size and weight should be written to the sender breach of condition in respect of size and weight the franking machine should be in red color that is for the post office and the rmf form that is in blue color franked article will be presented only at the counter an article with the superscription registered post found in the letter box without sufficient postage should be returned to the sender a register article addressed to a person of a deceased person shall be treated as unclaimed it should not be delivered to others or it should be returned to the sender only a green colored inlaid letter without postage but bears the date of the army post office need not be taxed all articles superscribed as to kept called for to be kept arrival as classified as post to restaurant only fully prepaid unregistered articles can be delivered through post box or bag unpaid articles addressed to the person bar form having post office should be delivered through the delivery staff only fully prepaid unregistered articles can be delivered through post box bar bag unpaid articles addressed to a person or firm having post box should be delivered by the delivery staff only the due amount has to be collected by the delivery staff only the business reply postcards are posted under the orders of the head of the division first class mails are letters postcards and letter cards the ex officio chairman of the postal service board is the secretary department of post money order addressed to a post box number should not be booked personal communication is not allowed inside the book packets containing the periodicals registered articles addressed to pardanish woman should be delivered in the presence of the witness who identify the signature of the woman and is known to the postman a postcard of private manufacture more than the prescribed size or thickness found in delivery will be treated as letter and difference between the letter and the postage will be collected as due post offices are divided into three classes that is head offices sub offices and branch offices money order payable to a person who is not a permanent resident within the delivery jurisdictions can be paid in normal counter and satisfactory proof of identity of the person of the money order if the post box holder does not clear the letters received for a week a notice will be issued to the render and articles if not collected even after the notice will be delivered through the postman a person residing within the delivery beat of the postman where the pb system is in force can have his articles delivered regularly at the window of the post office free of charge
postal articles in transparent covers and in open panel envelopes if not conform to the conditions should be returned to the sender a postcard should not have any attachment if it so it will be treated as letter book packet containing greetings and invitations are given surface transmission only with first class mails indian postal orders are available in four denomination that is rupees 10 rupees 20 rupees 50 and rupees 100 for breach of conditions book packet containing periodicals will be treated as letter or parcel whichever is less and difference in postage charge if any communication is on the address side or if the postcard is cut or altered folded or with any attachment the postcard will be treated as violating the conditions for posting and it will be treated as letter and the due amount will be collected from the addressee if a book packet fringes the condition of size and weight it will be returned to the sender after cancelling the stamps persons changing their address should furnish the return instructions regarding the disposal of postal articles received to their address to the post offices both at the place where they are leaving and where they are settling complaints relating to vp articles should be tendered only at the post office where the vp article was posted a postal article reposted after having been opened or reposted is treated as an article posted for the first time and due charges will be collected accordingly the time limit for complaints relating to compensation of insured articles is 3 months from the date of posting void money order can be paid to the remitter or payee if the application is made before the expiry of 12 months from the issue of the original money order ipos are sold and paid directly at the hos and sos the branch offices are not authorized for sale of indian post orders the money order can be stopped before payment and demanded for repaying to the remainder for which there is no free or cost service for sending parcels in large consignment throughout the nation and internationally is called as logistic post the speed post barcode would contain 13 characters undelivered acknowledgement cards are to be destroyed after 4 months a family allotment money orders is remitted by the defense authorities the broken amount of an ipo can be made by affixing four stamps the value should not exceed rupees 3 The maximum weight of the inland letter card is 5 grams. Size limit of the postcard is 14 into 9 cm. SAL means surface air lifted. EIOD means electronic intimation of delivery. NBNS means national bill mail service. minimum number of articles to be presented at a time of nbns would be 10000 national bill mail service charges are first 50 grams rupee 5 every additional 50 grams rupees 2 now there is no express parcel service that has been discontinued small and large size of greeting post rate is rupees 14 per card inclusive of rupees 5 postage rupees 17 per card inclusive of rupees 5 respectively small and large size of greeting post is 10 into 5 cm into 16. cm and 12 cm into 18.5 cm respectively ftl and ltl means full truck load and less than truck load minimum copies and maximum size to be accepted in direct post is 1000 and a3 size respectively prs means passenger reservation system india post gold coin denomination is 05.8 gram 
ஒன் கிராம் ஃபைவ் கிராம் எயிட் கிரீம் ஆஃப் டுவெண்ட்டி ஃபோர் கேரட் நைன்டி நைன் பாயிண்ட் நைன்டி நைன் ஆஃப் பியூர் கோல்டு த ஃப்ளாட் ரேட் பார்சல் பேக்ஸ் ஆர் அவைலபிள் இன் த்ரீ டைப்ஸ் ஃப்ளாட் ரேட் பார்சல் ப்ரைஸ் ஆர் ஒன் கேஜி டூ கேஜி அண்ட் ஃபைவ் கேஜி ஆர் ருபீஸ் ஒன் டுவெண்ட்டி ஃபைவ் ருபீஸ் டூ ஹண்ட்ரட் அண்ட் ஃபோர் ஹண்ட்ரட் ரெஸ்பெக்டிவ்லி இன்டர்நேஷ்னல் பார்சல் பாக்ஸ் ரேட் இஸ் ருபீஸ் தௌசண்ட் ருபீஸ் தௌசண்ட் ஃபைவ் ஹண்ட்ரட் அண்ட் டூ தௌசண்ட் ஃபைவ் ஹண்ட்ரட் இன்டர்நேஷ்னல் ரிஜிஸ்டர் பார் ஆர்டிகல் காம்பன்சேஷன் இஸ் தேர்ட்டி எஸ்டிஆர் எஸ்டிஆர் மீன்ஸ் ஸ்பெஷல் ட்ராயிங் ரைட்ஸ் The International Foreign Article Compensation is 40 SDR. E-IOD, E-Intimation of Delivery Services is available for customs of bulk customers registering themselves for the services. The Indian Post Office is exempted by law from all the responsibility in case of loss, misdelivery or delay of registered articles in the course of transmission by post. The rate of inland post may be fixed by the central government by notification in official gazette. The difference between undeliverable article and undelivered articles. Undeliverable articles means illegible or incomplete address. Wrappers get detached. Address not known or left without intimation. Not found during the delivery time. but undelivered article means refused by the addressee not taken delivery after due notice deceased or could not be delivered to others as per class 74 the complaint should be preferred for money order and vp 12 months from the date of the issue insured articles 3 months from the date of posting inland post 6 months from the date of the incident post order 12 months from the date of the last month of issue speed post 1 month as per class 77 and 81 for registered newspaper the postage bill will be presented to the licensee on 16th and 1st of every month payment should be made within 7 days in the event of non payment of bill within a fortnight the posting of the paper without prepayment of postage will be stopped and the licensee deemed to be cancelled comrades we have discussed 217 points earlier this was compiled by verifying with the various question papers right from the previous years up to the current year and thereafter this has been compiled for the benefit of our viewers so that they can study all the materials so that if they are very thorough on these subjects and particularly about this we are confident that at least 70% of the questions will come only from this only with regard to po guide part 1 so all the gist of the important items that i have been given in this episode kindly go through it minutely read again and again keep memory of all these points definitely you will have a success in the ensuing departmental examination so instead of elaborating all the po guide class by class one by one we have cut short everything and this is the presentation which will definitely be useful to all of you wish you all success in your career thank you very much comrade yours kvs thank you very much